talk about. They won it three, four, five times at home and so I think it's probably dead by now. They went up the hill to fetch a pain of water, Jack went down with half a crown, came back with a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> About. You know, the great thing about the English Charlotte is that you get a chance to talk to all the people who aren't on TV. I'll tell you what I'm getting mad at at the moment. When you're sitting at traffic lights in your car, and a man comes up towards you holding a bucket and a sponge. And you think, oh no, I'm going to get caught by the squeegees. <laughs> and what do you do? You go, you go, no thanks. No. No thank you. No, 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 no. But they do it anyway, don't they? But they never intimidate me. I never give them more than a tenner. <laughs> Where will it end? One day you'll be sat there, a bloke will bang a wok on your boot, and they go, quick stir fry, sir. <laughs> never leave your thunder if it'll start cutting your hair. <laughs> and never put your arm out, or they'll start measuring you up for a suit. As I tell you what, sir, the suit will be ready for you by the time you get to the next traffic lights. Let's meet the contestants. <laughs> champions, champions. Yeah. 160 pounds. Malcolm, five seconds. Talk about Wendy. This is Wendy. She's an administrator. She's also a mother. She's got two children. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wendy, five seconds. Talk about Malcolm. Malcolm is writing a, a musical at the moment, and he's a very talented guy. Thank you very much. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome to the show again. There we go. David oh. and Nikki. Oh. I bet you get this all the time. All the time. <laughs> but they look like little and large. <laughs> oh, which is which? Don't you look like little and large? Which one am I? Which one are you? <laughs> I guess, can you go, wah, 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 wah? No. No. Oh. <laughs> then you obviously are Little and Large. OK, David, talk about, talk about Vicky. Right, I've uh, worked with Mickey for about eight years at the Glassworks, and um, he's got married to uh, Diane, and he's got two children. They're called Jennifer and Adam, and uh, he's been building a motorbike in his garage for about nine years. <laughs> Rebuilding. Re why did it take him so long? <laughs> um, I know why. You're trying to find those headlights that glare from three miles away. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, Sibis. Sibis, I call them. I'm sorry? Is that Swedish? Sibis. No, that's French. Sibis. Sibis. Is it? That's, uh, that's bike speak. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> and you look like a biker. Yes. I never say that. <laughs> I can see you in the leathers, your hair in the wind. I can just see you. Talk about David, Mickey. Dave, or oh, Dave's one of the last artisans of the glass industry. He's a, he's a fine, fine artist. He's a friend of mine, does a bit of singing. There's a fantastic... Shirley Bassey impersonation. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> yeah. We've had nothing but impressions on this show. Um, I'll tell you what, if you win, I'll let you do it. Sorry. All right, put All your headphones right. on, please, Malcolm and Wendy. Jolly good. Now, I want to say to you both that it's time they went. Yeah. And I'd like you to win this, all right? Yeah. Here are your choices. Do you want to talk about, I'll put this in quotes for you, the doors, mm -hmm. the doors, or doors. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Well, Sid, what are you going to say? I don't know, Eddie. The doors. I don't know, Eddie. It's the It's not Tina Turner. It's you, Eddie. You can't fool me. It's not Tina Turner. It's you, Eddie. You're messing about again. Why won't you let him sing? I will let him sing. No, it's not Tina Turner, Eddie. It's you. Every flaming week on that show, he comes out as Tina Turner or Rod Stewart and the tall, gormless one goes, it's not you, it's Eddie, isn't it? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? What was the we, question again? It's the... We're going for the normal doors. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not the doors in quotes, that, that ordinary doors thing. Not, not, the not, not, not Van Morrison, Morrison. No, no. no. we don't want to talk about Not the one that you know everything about? No, no. no we don't know anything about We're that. You're going for just for doors? Just for doors, yeah. In the commit suicide in France, we don't want anything to do No, the no. guy who made the movie, you're not going to no. give him, even no. though you know his name and the albums. Because it'd be silly to want to go for one that you know all about, wouldn't so it? you know it? about it? No. Ah, right. <laughs> we'll go for normal doors, then. Normal doors? Yeah. Right. Who's going to go first? Uh, Here we I'll go let, again. I'll let Flipping me. out. I can't believe this. <laughs> Beer all day. Right, mate. No, no we're not tossing it's the car. It's Tina Turner. It's Tina Turner. Michael will go first. Michael. Michael. Mickey. Right. We'll let you sing this song. We'll get your guitar out in a minute, Sid. <laughs> Mickey, 20 seconds. Talk about normal doors. Doors. Doors are things with knobs on, handles on. You open them, shut them. They've got panels on. You can have glass doors, wooden doors, front doors, back doors, doors with keys on, locks on. Great for getting in and out of places with Fantastic <laughs> doors. I like doors. Wooden doors, plastic doors, any type of doors. Fire doors, big doors, great doors, double doors, French doors, <laughs> double glazing doors, patio doors. 
Go, Blossom, go! And Diana never even got a mention, did she? <laughs> no. 20 seconds, David. Talk about normal doors. Right, doors are on the front of a house and they've got a letterbox in them and you post letters to them and they've got windows in it. You open them and you close them and when you open the door, you go in and into the house and when you've got into the house, you close the door and they've got hinges on and when you've got the hinges, they, they clock it and you've got like a catch on the outside and it's in a frame and the door's all got windows in and panels and the door and you can close it and it's got... Oh! That's great scoring. It's on again. Here's the one word you missed. You didn't say knock. Oh! oh. oh. Have I get this? <laughs> After do. No, we'll go. Oh. oh, oh, Sid and Eddie, you should have said knock. I know. Oh, it's flaming Tina Turner. Over we go. They got nine, they left you with one. Here's the one word they missed. They did not say knock. Five seconds, what's the subject? Can't be dummy nose, will they hurt? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I'm looking at? Door. Door is right, you're showing the points! Ah! No! <laughs> I should have taken the answer from the captain. I didn't say it. But I'm going to let you off, because that's the sort of man I am. You'd have said, would you have said door? I would have said door. Oh, I'm sorry. Because she said door, I would have just passed it on. All right, I'll <laughs> forgive you. <laughs> Put your earphone on, please, a little and large, and turn your back to us. Nine plays nothing. I really want you to win this, you two, OK? So come through here and do your best. <laughs> here are your subjects. Do you want to talk about Rubik's Cube or picnics? Rubik's Cube. We'll talk about picnics, picnics. and Wendy will go first. OK, Wendy. 20 seconds. Talk about picnics. Picnics is when you go out and eat in the open air, usually on the grass. You put down a rug and you sit down and you open a picnic basket. And inside the basket, you have sandwiches and hard-boiled eggs and lots of ginger beer and drinks and salt and pepper and tomatoes and anything really. Uh, cold foods, usually ice cream, fruit. Children love picnics. Four. Have you come, Malcolm? <laughs> 20 seconds. Talk about picnics. You go off in your car and you go on a picnic. When you get to a picnic, families go on picnics. Adults and children can go on picnics. Maybe if you're on holiday when you go on your picnic. Uh, it's like a day out, a special day out. You have a picnic in the countryside. Uh, it's a sunny day when you have a picnic. You sit on the grass and you have your picnic. You have a picnic uh, mat out uh, and you enjoy having picnics. Bye. <laughs> well, I saw what you missed. You did not say park, park. Hamper, hamper, blanket, thermos <coughs> and table. <coughs> if they can guess it, then they'll steal your points. And do you know what? Even if Sid, Sid, says picnics, I'm going to accept it. Because <laughs> I let it, I won't, oh, well, but I mean, I'm just going to make sure. I want you to know that you're really lucky to be nine points up. But it's all right, I'm not, I don't mind. Pay headphones off, please. Well, they got five. Oh. They've already got nine. I, I put them 14 points ahead, so we'd like you to get this if you bother yeah. me again. Here are the words they missed. I did not say. Look, park, <laughs> hamper, blanket, thermos, I'm and table. I'm with you, Captain. I'm with you, Captain. We mm -hmm. say picnic. It's right, you some of the points. <laughs> well, <they're laughs> yeah, thumbs up. Now, come on, I want you to win this. Thank you. Do you want to talk about bulldozers or credit cards? What do you think, Mick? The captain? <laughs> well, I have no idea. I don't well, know, I know what... about bulldozers you could write on a credit card, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, then? Well, well, as a captain, I think we ought to go for credit cards, Captain. Right. Uh, I'm the captain, so I say credit cards. <laughs> also, the first I know captain. you're captain because it says yeah. it on your badge there. You've got a captain's badge. Yeah. Mm, good, that. Full right. pound, then. Right. Full of pounds, right. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. All right, then. 20 seconds. Are you going for credit cards, finally? Yeah, credit cards. Talk card. about credit cards. Right, credit cards are made of plastic and you use to get money out of the bank. Uh, the flexible friends, you've got access, you've got Visa, you've got American Express. You've got lots of things like that. You've, uh, you can use them to buy things in the shops so to give you credit. And uh, you can buy things and you go and you, you sign a cheque with them. You can have a cheque card as well as a credit card. Uh, they've got little videotape strips at the back, or whatever they call it. And... Right, very good start. Over you come, Mickey. <laughs> you got five. If you get, get the other five, it'd be ten, it's and that'd be a perfect ten, and it'd be fifteen, you go to the Champions Round straight away. 
You can do it, Mickey. Uh -huh. 20 seconds. Tell us all you know about credit cards. Credit cards you can get out of debt with, you can get into debt with them, you can pay for things with them. The bits of plastic you've got to sign your name on, the permanent machine, you, go, you can buy petrol with them. I've got thousands of them. I've been up to here with them, I'll tell you. You get bits of paper, you get a receipt, you've got Bash Card, Visa, American Express, you can buy clothes with them, you've got uh, Dimensions cards and, and Debenhams cards, and everybody has plastic cards. And oh, Mickey, over you come, David. I can't believe Vum Vum wasn't down there. <laughs> I'd have chosen that, the Vum Vum. Flipping heck. Oh, I'd better borrow your Vum Vum. <laughs> oh, I, hope these, I hope these words aren't going to give it away. Here are the words you missed. You didn't say wallet, cash, month, bill and number. Ooh, I don't know. Could be, I must, I must be totally impartial. I hope you win this. I'm going to go over there. They'll take the earphones off, and I'll tell you that they got five, and they left you five. Here are the five they missed. I did not say wallet, cash, month, bill, and number. Five seconds. What's the subject? Check. 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 Give me an answer. Check. No, it's credit cards. You keep the points. <laughs> So, 10 for age 9, don't miss the exciting part to we'll talk about in a minute. Don't go away. Uh, hello, 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 welcome back. 10 plays 9, this will be the puzzle that decides it probably. Put your earphones on, please, little and large, turn your back to us, and I'll give you your options, Wendy and Malcolm. Do you want to talk about, I can't hear, David Owen, I'll put this in quotes for you, Macbeth. David Owen, or... We'll talk about Macbeth, and I'll go first. All right, Malcolm, you have 20 seconds. Talk about Macbeth. Macbeth is uh, played by Shakespeare. It's a tragedy. You have Macbeth, you have Lady Macbeth, Banquo, you have Ghost, he becomes king. It's set in the castle of Dunsinane. You have King Duncan. There's murders, there's killings, there's lots of battles in Macbeth. There are three witches in Macbeth. Uh, Macbeth uh, and Lady Macbeth and he becomes king, and there's prophecies and there's spells. Hey, oh! Trevor, you can, Wendy. You only need to find two for a perfect ten. You guess from a nine from one of theirs. They could possibly guess from a nine from yours. Who knows? 20 seconds. Talk about Macbeth. Lady Macbeth spends the whole of the play trying to wring her hands. She thinks she's got the blood of her uh, victims on her hands, and uh, she ends up killing herself because she can't bear it. She commits suicide. Um, the friends of Macbeth are Dun Duncan, Dunstan, it's a... Uh, oh. Do you want to see what you missed? Yes, please. Yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. You did not say Scotland, Scotland. and you didn't say history. history. Scottish play. Scotland and history. <coughs> It's a historical play, you see. Over we go. They will take their earphones off. I will tell them that they got eight, guys. If you do not guess from these two words, then we say goodbye to you with the words they did not say. Scotland and history. Hmm. Five hmm. seconds. What's the subject? Hmm. You know, sir? Say. Quickly, say. Tartan. No, it's Macbeth. I'm sorry, we'll say goodbye. Come and say goodbye, guys. You didn't really come. Over oh, no. you come this way. Sid, Sid, Aww. Sid, you went off the wrong way then, Sid. You see, you come and say goodbye to me, the two of you. <laughs> They've been great fun, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for playing the game, David, and thank you, Mickey. You get your talk about sweatshirts. That's what we come for. That's what you come yeah. for. Obviously. And you're gone. Bye-bye, David <laughs> and Mickey. See you guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Whoa, third champion's round. Oh, Here are your subjects. Do you want to talk about polo, not the mint, okay? Polo or the Pope? Polo, not the mint, or the Pope. Not very good on either. Not very good on either, are we? Mm. But at a stretch, go on, we're, I'm going to decide and we're going to go for the Pope. Okay, who's going to I'm going to go in the box because I like it in there. What's yeah, it I like it's it in there. Nice in there, isn't it's it? Cozy. It's cozy. It's oh, cozy. You can play the gold fish. There's cards in there. There's all sorts. You can play a game. It's nice. Because it so. makes me feel guilty when I just make the wrong decision. That's Which you good. have. Well, no, only once you made the wrong decision. The first time you were right, second yeah. time you were wrong. Yeah. yeah. But it's polo, yeah? No, you said Pope, didn't no, you? No, did he say Pope? Did he say Pope? I think he said Pope. All right, thank you. Pope then. The check, you know. Right, okay. Okay, or should we just change it and not take it? 
imagine him coming out and talking about it and <laughs> missing the word horse. All right, here you go. 20 seconds, Wendy. Talk about the Pope. The Pope is the head of the Catholic Church. He lives at the Vatican in Rome. At the moment, he's Polish. Um, the Pope wears a pointed hat. He has Sunday audiences where he stands in St. Peter's Square looking from the balcony and everyone prays in front of him, right down in the uh, square in front of him. He does um, a speech on Christmas Day. Four, 80 pounds, that's okay. That's all right, don't panic, it's all right. Yes, they're certainly there in the square. <laughs> in joke. front of him. Yeah. Sorry? It's a joke. A joke? The one about get off the grass. <laughs> No, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's too long. <laughs> no, no, no. But the tag is get off the grass. Get off the bleeding grass. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's hear the words you miss. You didn't say religion, leader, holy, father, and John Paul. There are six words there. Will he in four seconds say religion, leader, holy, father, John Paul? It's your choice. Wendy says no, so out he comes. All right, send a spot, please. She got four. She's won you four seconds. Right. The question is, is in four seconds, can you say... Last time, of course, you just said you... Yes, said and you I did. You want to know if in four seconds you can say one of the remaining <coughs> six words. Right. Here we go. Four seconds. Talk about the Pope. Uh, head of religion, Catholic, Rome, Vatican, <laughs> head of state, um, can start Polish... You said religion, religion's right. And she said, I wouldn't get it, didn't she? <laughs> She's lost us more money, hasn't she? She's lost you a considerable amount. And you know, the whole audience goes, yeah, do it! And she goes, no. no. <laughs> and worse than that, she tells dirty jokes. <laughs> yeah. Dirty jokes before and after the Pope. <laughs> £240, champ places, Malcolm and Wendy! <laughs> this will be our new challenges on Talk About. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hi, good to see you. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Belinda, tell us about Ken. This is Ken. He's my husband. We've been together about five years, I think. I'm not very good with numbers. Um, he's a fanatical golfer. He's also a publican. We've got a pub in Staple Hill, Bristol, the old male house, a little plug there. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> he's even... Shirley Bassey in a minute. <laughs> He even goes as far as keeping his golf clubs in the bedroom. I don't want to hear anyone about it. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Do you play, you don't play golf in the bedroom, though? Sometimes. Does he? On the odd occasion, he has to. something to chip into. That's <laughs> <laughs> about Belinda. Yeah. That's about Belinda. Yeah. Uh, we, we've been together five years. We were on the pub in St. Will. We do Barmers, 12 till 2. Very good Barmers. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> she plays bingo a lot. She goes on a sunbed and she drops her knickers quite a lot. <laughs> What it, what that isn't that? how it sounds, honestly. No, I'm no. pleased to hear it. What happens then? Well, twice I've had the occasion. I've been going up a set of escalators in a well-known store once when the elastic went. <laughs> and the worst part was trying to pick them up before they reached the top and it got wound up in there. <laughs> Another time, walking across a football pitch. Wembley. <laughs> Why are we walking across a football pitch? Well, it was half time. It wasn't a big one. It, no, it was, was half tens. time. Like yeah. I went no, it was under tens, under right. tens. Yeah, that wasn't the size. That was. <laughs> <laughs> but that is that. that you're right. That's not as bad as it sounds. It was no, much, yeah. much, much worse. Put your hands <laughs> on, please, Malcolm and Wendy. Turn you back to us. Well, they're at three champions goes. Will you be the ones to knock them off their pedestal? Who knows? Here are your subjects. Do you want to talk about yoga oh. or years? Years. Years. Not years. Years. <laughs> years. Y E A R X. Yoga yeah. or years? Years. 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 Yes. 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 Um, 12 months in a year, I've said all the months, I think. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. They make up a year, year, um, it starts. Uh... Okay, Ken. Four. If you could get four, that'd be eight, that'd be great. That'd be, be a good chance, that. 20 seconds, talk about years. You get leap years, year of the dragon, year of the rabbit, Chinese years, the years of uh, uh, the planets, planets coming years. The years have lots to do with your age. Uh, you retire at 65 years old. 
Uh, 21 years old is the key of the door, 18 years old now, you've voted 18 years. Uh, yearlings are young horses. Um, <laughs> you can. Yearlings are young horses and goslings are young geese. <laughs> What did you think? What you thought of since you've done it? What 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 you thought it's of? It's autumn and May, uh, spring and. That's it. What are we? Are they down there? What did we say? We did not say. Oh, we missed period spring. of time. Is it a period of time? Yeah. Down here, look. Fifty-two. Down here, yeah. look. Ken. Ken. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's right. Fifty-two. So that's we, that we put them there. You see, in a little desk, <laughs> so that you could just. Otherwise, you're doing that. You see. Like, like that. Like that. 50, you 52 that. decade <laughs> and century. If they can guess yours, they'll steal your points. So if we go, they'll take their earphones off. They'll tell them they've got. They got five. Here are the words they missed. They didn't say period, time, 52, decade and century. Five seconds. What is the subject to leave? Second century, 52. Answer, please, Bobby. Um, now? Now? Weeks. No, it's yours. You keep the points. So, Belinda and Ken. Oh, weeks, years. Will you put your earphones on, please, Belinda and Ken? That's terribly, terribly nice. Dear me. Oh, they're a rum couple, those two, aren't they, eh? <laughs> Chipping and dropping your drawers and all sorts. <laughs> you don't get this on Mastermind, do you? <laughs> and your subject is dropping your drawers. <laughs> and putting in the bedroom. You had no passes. <laughs> no, I don't know. Probably quite a few passes, you're right. Do you want to talk about Louis Armstrong or liqueurs? Louis oh, Armstrong. What do you think? Or uh, no, no, Louis what Armstrong. What do you think? We'll talk about Louis, Louis Armstrong, Armstrong. And uh, you'll go first. Go Wendy will go first. Wendy, this is one of your first times going first. Is it? It's something new on the show. I like that. Because huh? normally you just guess wrong in the bonus round, <laughs> you know, the champions <laughs> round. And we lose money, don't we? We lose a lot of dosh. <laughs> Here you go. 20 seconds. Talk about Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is a black American jazz musician. He plays trumpet. His name is Satchamo. He sings as well as, as plays, and he's made films as well. He's uh, very old now, and he's going grey, but he, he, um, he appeared in, um, oh, I Love You, Samantha. Um, oh, with, uh, oh, you can. <laughs> 20 seconds, talk about Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is an American singer. He sings, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Um, uh, he's black. He plays trumpet, uh, he sings, he, he uh, plays jazz as well, uh, he appears in films, uh, musicals, uh, he likes, uh, he, play, he sings, uh, he is a jazz musician. He's getting old. He said. Oh, no, it just doesn't. He said that he was going grey. He doesn't. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> going green. <laughs> going skin. <laughs> I'm so shocked. <laughs> I'm not even going to show you what you missed. I'm going over here. And I said to take their earphones off. They got six. They left. There it goes. That's it. They left you four. Here are the words they missed. They did not say hanky, hello, dolly, and raspy. Five seconds. What's the subject? Hello, dolly, your dad does. Come on. What does he do? Give me an answer. Now, quickly. Quick. No, it's not Frankie Vaughan. Give me an answer. Frankie Vaughan. No. It's him. It's Louis Armstrong. He's in the points. <laughs> We'll see you same time next time on Talk About. Bye-bye. And the lead this show.